Now, next, it's time for the little topic that we have here, which is going to be the fin- the reading of a fin- fan fiction. We're trying something a little bit different here, and in fact, we are doing things a little bit different with this as well. We're going to be reading the first chapter, which is Your Body Is Not Ready, of Through the Eyes of Another Pony. Oh, dear God. We actually interviewed Cards Laughter some time ago on the show, so I guess it's only appropriate that we actually read one of his, we read his story and get to the first chapter. Now, the fun thing about this is, I, looking over, I really couldn't um, separate people out to uh, voice roles because it's mostly narrative. I'm looking at the tags and it makes my head hurt. So I'm thinking... Instead of narrative, we designate, we get everybody in on a random poll, and then that person uh, voice acts their heart's content, whatever the hell they want, for three minutes, and then we swap it to the next person until we finish the chapter. Oh my god, this is like reading in school, and you're like, they go from Uh paragraph to paragraph around the classroom, and then you're like, not paying attention, and then it comes to you, and you're just like... Uh, you read the paragraph that the person already read before you, and then you look like an idiot. Yes, but let's also... Do, let's, do, let's do pop reading. Oh, uh, along God. with that... No! no. no. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it. I'm not paying attention! <laughs> I don't know how we heard that. Oh, God, that's the thing still? Uh, yeah, at, least when I, at least when I was in grade school. <laughs> I hated that. You know what was fun though? You always get, you always pick the one kid that's dyslexic, and everybody calls his name. <laughs> no, we are not doing popcorn. Right. Instead, I, what uh, I'm doing uh, is I'm putting popcorn. everybody's name in a randomizer, and we are going to just get random. Of course, once that person has read, we will cross them off until everybody has read, and then put them all back in. All I ask in this case, go completely crazy on it. Go ahead and make funny noises. Go ahead and sound stupid. Go ahead and. Go off on a tangent. The whole point is that this is a over dramatic reading of Through the Eyes of Another Pony. Another pony. Pony? Pony? Yes. My brawn. My brawn. <laughs> Ooh, that would be a fun one to go with. But in any case, I got the I got the link there for the story. Are you guys all set? No, no, not me. No, but let's do it anyway. All right, through the eyes of another pony, the first reader will be. Dear God! Is it, it... Your... Is it you? Actually, yes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> All God. right. Wow, I forgot how long ago I read the story. Holy shit. Yes, it is me, so I will be the one doing it for the first three minutes. As soon as my time is up, I will hit the randomizer again and let the next person go. Of course, that means we have to do something silly. Why not this? Okay. Give me a gutsy. Is it rare? Gentle Colts, sorry, I have one question for you. What is normal? Is it doing what comes natural to you? Is it? Because I gotta tell you, there are plenty of people out there that just don't do, that just do that. They still get tagged as deviants. Is it holding up to the local status quo? I don't think that's right quite right either. And when you think about it, brother, think about it for a moment. In America, that is what you're gonna find out. One, two, one, three, it's a poor contributing kid to the world's fashion for the entire world of Canada's. It's a part of Africa. He will look at you and ask for me for that. You wanna know what the normal is? What I think it is? It's saying that I'm a dryer back on Earth. That's about as offended as normal gets for me. See also, standard setting. Why am I asking you this? Uh, not certain other that I want to give you the frame of reference for what is normal, because I'm about to jump into the far reaches of abnormal. Now brace yourself, and I know you can hear the Twilight theme, because it says the Twilight Zone. Take every part from your nose into a state of zen, and let it out through your fucking lips. Don't clench! I won't go to cartoon. Wait, because Battle wasn't just any cartoons. It was a cartoon to end all cartoons. No, not like we're taking home first. That did end all the cartoons. Let me take you back to what happened last, let's see. I was drinking a lovingly made martini 
while partying up our stepsister Michelle's birthday bash. As it was normal for her, rather than enjoying her own damn birthday, she was instead learning damage control and things she felt was important. I gotta tell you, brother, we actually get to a fight about it, and we ended up walking out. Last thing I remember was over your party only slightly inebriated. Passed out my own personal drunk test even. Well, I never made it to my car, brother. I'm not I don't remember making it to my car. Because I'm aware I fell asleep, brother. And I woke up in the cartoon central as well of a town called Ponyville. Yeah! You know, something like this. But for tweeting, I'm not sure who I was tweeting. I think I had a hashtag in it. It's quite certain, however, that I was quite subscri- wasn't subscribed to his channel, so I'm only sure why he had let me know about it. But he was. And unfortunately, it was grating on my slowly awakening nerves. I opened my eyes and regretted that that mirror instantly. You point outside, I mean at some point, though that seems to coat everything in a blinding layer of blind No, 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 everything was bright. Brightly colored. Oh god, the brightness! It burns! It burns! Okay, somebody else's turn. Sketchy Wolf. Um, I'm having a phone call right now, it's very important, so excuse me real quick. I always feel like that it's... Oh, I forgot to take, kill the... Didn't I? There we go. Okay, well... He won't sk- escape us next time. Let's try that again. Gurren. Gurren? Yeah, I'm here. Don't worry. No, sorry, I didn't hear you. I would not let the right colors defeat me. I tried, I tried opening them again. <laughs> 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 okay, so I had lost the battle with the bright colors. I didn't even know what the colors were. I just knew that they were incredibly bright, and I was incredibly tired. Trust me. Maybe I could get some more rest and try again tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay, uh, Gurren, is there any way you could turn yourself up or something? I can barely, we can barely hear you. Uh, don't have a microphone, sorry. But, well, the computer microphone. Uh, I'm hearing a small echo close. from him. Oh. Probably because my computer will be turned off. Well, so well just, just do the best you can, man. Then that damn old bird started again. Oh, bird, just you wait. <laughs> there would be a reckoning. A reckoning, I say! I was about to get some brand making new feathers for my dream catcher back home. Okay, for the burden related vengeance, let's try this. One last time. Ah! Oh, my poor defenseless eyes, dear God! I did it though. I opened them fully. I made those suckers stay open. They watered and burned as though they were on fire, but that's okay. I didn't really care. I beat the colors for the sake of foul destruction. Oh no. But they were but there would be a reckoning. A reckoning. The fuck? It's okay. Right, sorry, I- sorry, sorry. I was trying something here and it didn't quite work out. <laughs> I'm actually setting a timer here so it rings whenever three minutes pass. Where's Cody? Is he here? I'm sure he is. Sorry, keep going, please. Right after the cigarette. Yeah, I smoke. I'm not apologizing. It's an addiction. I feed it to prevent slaughter on a genocidal scale. Sort of like Hitler. Therefore, every time I light up, I'm taking one for the team. I'm so freaking selfless, I know. <clears throat> I just can't, can't handle this brand of awesome selflessness. There it is. You're welcome. No, no, stop lighting. I know, I'm awesome. Just said gash. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, I love this awesome cigarette as part of my morning ritual. See, averting genocide, genocidal tendencies. Before rolling back over and pushing myself up off the ground. Okay, I'm up. I thought to myself. 
Phase one of the story, annoyingly loud feather duster complete. Initiate phase Doyce. Find a rock. Rock, 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 rock. I began to look, I began to look about at the ground. When did Michelle paint her lawn bright neon green? Rock! Phase two, complete. <clears throat> I looked up towards the source of the sound before grabbing the rock and casting out for the target. It took me a few seconds, but I eventually spotted my victim. The top of a two-story Bavarian-style house, which was actually quite nice, with blindingly bright pink shutters, brown-red uh, blanking, and pastel-yellow walls. I spared enough thought towards the building to figure some rich idiot paid a ridiculous amount of money to have it built in the center of the town. In the center of town. The rest of my thought, however, focused on the rock. Fly, true weapon of salvation! I yawned ir irritably before chucking the rock at the bird. As soon as I did, though, the bird dropped a few priorities on my mental list. See, I expected to see a hand to throw ro the rock, but no, fate just had to do that. I didn't get a hand. No, I got something else. Okay, move that away from your damn mic. Yeah, seriously. Sap is that's not near my mic. That's going right through the soundboard. Ouch. I'm gonna that's have to really turn. I'm gonna have to turn it down. But here, I'll oh, at thank least. Thank you for leaving me, Cody. By the way. Mm. Sorry. I'll see what I can do to turn it down here. But that means that now it's time for somebody else to be drawn up for for a reading. Sketchy. Sketchy, you back? I guess not. I think he's going to be conveniently gone for this. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's too bad. It's sketchy would actually fit this so freaking well. Yeah, right. But I know somebody else that can do it quite nicely. Blinked! Ugh, where were we at? Let's, Let's see. see. Well, no, I, was, I got there sir, right at the end. I went to get some water. Well, sir, Circuit kind of cut him off in the middle of the sentence, but... Yeah, 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 yeah but you had a hoof. Yeah. No, something else, something that just... Just wasn't normal in the slightest. There, I got. A I knew it was right there. She's gonna yeah. wake up. No, I got something. Okay, else. there we I'm go. Like, I'm not even in the mood to do any voices. I'm just gonna read this normally. All right, and go when you're ready. All right. Then I got something else. Something that just, it just wasn't normal in the slightest. I got a. This in turn made my jaw drop as I brought it closer. I was so freaking absorbed in staring at that hoof. I didn't even react to the rock bouncing back off the building and smacking me right atop my head. I mean, I reacted after it, got, after it cleaned my clock, sure. But before I was darping out over the hoof that was stubbornly insisted to exist where my right hand should have been. <laughs> Son of I hissed, rubbing the throbbing bump of my hoof and realized I indeed had a second hoof. All right. Let's see. Hooves. I checked them. They were hooves. Definitely hooves. Ash gray hooves, to be exact. I could tell from the pixels, and having seen quite a few hooves in my day, I compared them. One hoof, two hoof, hoof. Is it hoovish? Hoovesies. Whoa. <laughs> I looked myself over as I took another drag off my cigarette. Oh, but yes, it was true. I was buck mothering. <laughs> Great. Oh, my God. Look at her butt. Okay, no, I'm not that joke. Um, let's see. My hooves were a shade darker than my coat, which was charcoal gray. And my tail was, well, like any color of brute chain lighter to be exact. The center of the wild flipping thing was bright neon blue. The edges were cut off with abrupt, uh, cut off abruptly into bright fiery red. That must mean I started to think to myself before looking back at the I'm freaking responsibly bright Bavarian abode before me. I began to hop in the late. I'm just, I was just, just bear with me here. I know. I was definitely overacting, but just, it was sugar cake over. I was sitting right in front of, okay? I was just saying, why, why you my dad? I'm a brony. Yes, you heard me. Honest to God, brony. No who shit. Let's see. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Now that means completely different things depending on who you ask. If you ask the mouth breathing idiot said Fox, some people know as Fox News, a brony is a fat, unemployed, middle-aged loser that draws in Social Security 
and does nasty things when thoughts of ponies interest his mind. If you ask an overprotective backwater parrot, ponies are a group of pedophiles that creep around the internet and they will urge you to hide your kids and hide your wife, hide your husbands because they're raping everybody out there, y'all. Got another thing. If you ask me, insecure, homophobic Neanderthal, a brony is a load of four letter words and quite a few three letter ones to boot. However, if you, God forbid, do the sensible thing and ask somebody in the know, say perhaps an actual brony, maybe you'll find out the truth. They're just normal people with abnormal enthusiastic hobbies. Gee, I wonder where we can look at that for that shit. I wonder where. I wonder, wonder who I do, I do. What's the new wonder ball? Oh, they're done. Good. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> okay. Who knows what surprise is? A wonder ball can hide. All right, let's see. Who's with Candy Shakes of Mind? Oh, God. <laughs> you would. How do I still remember this? I. This is what I do, I do unfortunately, is I don't let the path die in one way or another. And it's fun that way, in all honesty. And now that I got Wonderful stuck in my head, let's go ahead and throw it to our anime aficionado, Suki. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Eh, I'll do my reading voice. The only difference is rather than do something socially acceptable, they instead disregard the status quo and direct their enthusiastic tendencies towards the latest generation of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Holy shit. That's just going too far. We can't have normal people doing things they want to do. That's just wrong. I'm ranting. Apologies. Where was I? Oh, right. Sugar Cube Corner. Pinkie Pie's place of business. Partnered with Mrs. and Mr. Cake. She's, like, critical to the show. Now, that's not what I was thinking at the moment. My current line of thought was more lines of Sugar Cube Corner! Like I said, hyperventilation began, began to set in, and I began to get dizzy from unintentionally rapid smoking. That was probably the only thing that kept me from running around in circles and crying happily as I soaked myself in the wonderful rays of Celestia's equestrian sun. Oh yes, it was true. I was in Equestria. Oh, oh, this was a happy day. So much to do. Geek talk with Twilight. Party with Pinky. Apple bucking. That sounded so incredibly redneck. <laughs> <laughs> like frog gigging. Yes, that's an actual thing. Or, or mudding. Hell yeah. <laughs> and still more to do. Like glomp Fluttershy and wear dresses with rarity. I just thought about wearing dresses with rarity. Hmm. I bet I'd be pretty. Scree screech! My brain came to a halt, and then rational half took over. Yes, I am a two-sided coin. See that spurt of random giddiness? That comes from the side I like to call laughter. Is in charge of my insanity, which consumes roughly half of my mental facilities. The other half, however, is just as strong, and is quite capable of taking charge when things get out of hand. His name is Stoic. Stoic is the kind of guy that steps in and prevents laughter from driving me off to Rarity's Carousel Boutique and trying on a French maid outfit. Oh, dear God, what? <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> he was quick to point out that there, was, there were likely other ways to spend time with Rarity that didn't involve cross-dressing. Laughter pointed out that we, could, we would look damn good no matter what we wore. Stoic agreed. Who the fuck are these two and why they control my life? <laughs> what can I say? I set the bar for self-confidence. <clears throat> Before laughter could respond to that, Stoic looked locked him away in the timeout box and proceeded to advise me in an entirely reasonable fashion. He hates fun things. All right. It's up to the next one. So, next one to do it. Let's see... Yeah, we still got a couple people here, so random again. And, oh, look whose name came up once again. Sketchy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sketchy. This is you. This is all you right here. Come on, Cranky. Let's go. 
Jared, you got your cards. Have fun. I don't have my cards, but how do I not have Vandal? Uh, because you don't have 48. We haven't gotten 48 as a win. Now let's get you. All right, Sketchy, you ready? All right, well, I'll just let you know that I'm intoxicated right now, so this is probably going to be really bad. Hey, we're sorry. Really we, we, we've already done other crazy things with it, so go with it. Okay, okay. get a grip. I told <laughs> myself, taking another puff of my cigarette, you're obviously having a dream. Granted, it's a bloody awesome dream, but it's a dream nonetheless. Uh, no, uh, no reasons to go into shock just yet. Enjoy yourself and move on. Killjoy, whatever. I've been lucid. I had. Uh, I've lucid dreamed before. I usually screw around for a few minutes before getting bored and creating a tornado. Wait, what? I am so lost right now. I had a lucid dream before. I usually screw around a few minutes before getting bored and creating a tornado before jumping into it. It's like a madman. I'm not easily entertained at... <sighs> you okay there? <laughs> at least not within the confines of my own mind. He gave up. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just right. give up? He, he, did, he did. We just had a rage quit. <laughs> we just had a rage quit. I, I, I thought Holy I heard a thump. Did he pass out on his desk? I, I don't know. I have done just as clunk. He might have done a drug and rage quit. So instead, let's go ahead and show off some eye candy, and then we'll. Rant. Well, we don't have to random bowl because uh, the only one that we have left is Comet. What about Deal? He hasn't read. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. And doing a random bowl, the next one is Comet. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he just pulled me. I'm pretty sure he just pulled me. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I, in all honesty, I am not. Lies. Lies. Oh, hey. Here's a random poll right here. Yeah, I know. Comment right. and Whatever. deal. Right. Just skip to the tornado, I muttered out loud. If I could meet the real ponies, I didn't want to torture myself in pretending to meet them. So instead, I just threw my hooves, quote unquote, Forward and yelled out, TORNADO TIME! Imagine the disappointment and I didn't get my wish. Bah. Nonsense. Try again. TORNADO TIME! I roared dramatically, throwing my hooves at it again. Something happened this time. However, it wasn't a tornado. Instead, a window on one of the nearby buildings popped open and a magenta... Oh, blah, 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 very much! Easy killer. Stoke minded me. Initial tests suggest this might not be a dream. Just play it cool. Playing it cool involved my eyes slowly wandering through as they thought I was being inflated. She was glaring down from her second story window with the barely, barely eyes angered fixed upon me. Whether she was hungover from just waking up, I couldn't tell. Probably both. I stared back, my jaw slowly falling open yet again, as I look at the sight of my first pony. Cigarette fell out of my mouth. I want you to know, I take nicotine abuse very seriously. So for me to just ignore a plummeting cylinder of tobacco, you had to know me to understand the gravity of that thought. Waste not. I don't want to wake up from this dream, I stated to myself. As well as both my subcon subconscious has. They both agreed. Hi! I enthusiastically waved my hoof at her. She glared obscurely at me. Ruby poked her head over the window after shaking note of my cheerful greeting, eagerly waved back at me. Very punch yanked her her back and glared more before rudely slamming the window shut. See? Overprotective parents hate ponies. Bronies. Yeah, thank you. It's a fact. They think we touch kids or something. It's already evens out, though, because bronies find overprotective parents just as creepy as weird, too. No, that's not a joke. <laughs> With a remorseful sigh, I look about. It was definitely pony, though. 
The nondescriptic trees, the impossibly green grass, the crater still smoking just behind where I woke up. There was no mistake. Wait a second. I did a double take and stared at the town square. Yep. That was a big fat crater right in the middle of it. Like he had hit town square, square rather than building or something. That would have been awful. Running, ruining somebody's uh, home like that. Fortunately, all of the mount was a big nasty scar right in the center of town. And it smelled like brimstone and ash and the small column with wafting from the epicenter did so lazily toward the sky. How long do I got? And that's my question! <laughs> <laughs> yep, it did. So... Dale, fucking go! Yep, Dale, it's your turn. Okay, so... Everyone knows that, for one reason or another, unless it's Smeagol or Gollum, my voice acting has no consistency whatsoever. So, I bring to you today Patrick Starr, because I'm going to try. Did I do that? I caught myself wondering. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be uh, feasible, right? If it wasn't set, if this wasn't a beam, I might have pulled a trope and crashed from the sky. No wonder Perry Punch is so quick to regard me so suspiciously. If I recently came to this conclusion, then she could definitely do the same. It would have all the justification in the world to avoid me. I picked up my cigarette and took another drag. Yes. What a crabby patty. This, this was troublesome. My first day in Ponyville, assuming I wasn't crazy or dreaming, and I'd already wrecked the place. Switch me up! I need help! Ready go ye? And then it happened. Inward crazy panic. A jumble of thoughts. A cornucopia of mental chaos erupted from within. I'm going to list out... <clears throat> I'm going to list out the insanity rather than try to translate how it actually went. Trust me, this will make it easier on everyone involved. Holy bit, I'm a pony. Holy bit, I'm smoking in Equestria. Well, I've been here five minutes. I've caused extensive property damage. I'm smoking pony bill. I can't do this. Think of ponies. How did I even light the damn thing? I don't have any pockets on me. I don't even have fingers. I can't even do it. Where'd I even get this damn thing? I don't have any pockets. Disregard nonsense. Acquire ponies. Can't just go steal ponies. I need an ashtray. No, wait. I need to make sense of this insanity. Yeah, see? I can't hold a voice. Yeah, you can't. Uh, You're terrible. You're a terrible voice actor. NA. Worst voice actor, NA. Uh, don't feel too bad. It's really hard to hold a voice at times. No, it's not. No, it's not. Especially because I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I've never done a Patrick. Okay. I'm sorry, but you were thrown off the Emperor's groove. And then I got thrown out a window. Not really, but that's what happened to the last guy. Or the last guy to have. Oh my god, you're already oh drifting god. from the voice. <laughs> it's over there. Hey, hey it's over there. Not really, but that's what happened to the last guy to have that told to him. Anyway, out of all the chaos, one thought stole out considerably more than the others. I need to make sense of this. Disregard the cigarette. Disregard the poniness. Disregard the ashtray, pony napping, and Disney references. I need to get some pony that can help me. The obvious answer was to get both ex obvious and exciting. Just contemplating the idea was raising my blood pressure to unsafe, unsafe, bit unsafe levels. Unsafe levels. Go see Twilight Barkle. Sparkle. Sparkle. And deal is safe. I hate you right now, Deal. I really <laughs> do. And you know how long this is? We aren't even. We're probably just barely. We're not even quarter of the way. We're, we're not do. even a fucking. Idiot well, we're we're just gonna go as far as we can until the time runs out or we finish the chapter. Which I am. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. We're considering we're all a bunch of fucking lunatics. Yeah. No, honestly, I was worried that we were gonna finish this in like thirty minutes. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah. 
Did you, you know you what you were smoking? I can tell you, but one thing you're not going to finish this. Why am I doing that? Okay, so now we're adding everybody back into the pool. So everybody's red. Everybody back in the pool. Everybody back in the pool except for Sketchy. Don't um, swim. Everybody back in the pool. The yeah, we're taking Sketchy Wolf out uh, because of uh, childhood trauma. So Five million years, don't you? Fuck you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. So, Sketchy, your dad wants to do it? Yeah, my dad wants to read it. I'm not kidding. Okay, um, I think it looks like but, we're on the third but page I here. I closed the dock and I don't know where we're at. Okay, it's, I think we're on the third page here. It's near the top. It says, <clears throat> go see Twilight Sparkle online. And it's the, it's, that's right after that. Go see Twilight Sparkle on the third page? Yes. I just have to continue. Okay. I scroll down and it just keeps going. Oh, wait. Okay. Then fix it. Yeah, you just scroll down. Uh, Do you see a little thing at the top that kind of goes along while you scroll? Okay, I love that. Oh, page. yeah. One, two, three, four, that. Uh, oh, wait. It actually goes by pages? Damn. I didn't even think of that. It's just, I, I just know that it's like about 30% of the way from the left. 30% away from Well, I was thinking of page three, but it might be slightly off. Uh, that's just, yeah, because that thing at the top is basically how far through the chapter you are. Oh, whoa. Yeah, no more. Six, seven. Okay, actually, we're about seven pages in. And then it's uh, seven go see, pages. Go, seven pages and go see Twilight Sparkle. Okay, I clicked on the number seven now. It says chapter six. Uh, okay, you're looking yeah, at chapters. Yeah, yeah, okay, circuit. He's look, circuit. He's doing this on film fiction. Yeah, I know. I read, I brought up this stupid Google Doc for it. Hold on. I'll, I could do this a different way here. Actually, do you know how to ser do a search for a uh, term in the uh, internet in a uh, browser? I don't like computers. So okay, no. uh, click Control, press F. Yeah, click back and then hold down Control and press F. At, uh, press F. It'll bring up a little search window. I'm on a Mac. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> scroll down. All to... together. All together. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Hey, scroll... Okay, just yes. keep scrolling down until you see a, bu a bunch of one-line things like "Holy bit, I'm a pony." "Holy bit, I'm soaking equestria." It's yeah. going, it's uh, going to be about a fourth of the way down. Fourth yeah. of the way down. <laughs> I like how that. I like I like how that just went. I, Oh, you're having computer problems. Let's all, let's all help you. I'm using a Mac. Well, <laughs> I guess you can call customer support. <laughs> image, the image that disappoints. Am I close? Easy killer. Stoic reminded me. Uh, no, further close? down. What? Further down. Further down? Yes. Did I do that? I caught myself wondering. Uh, not, too much, not too much farther after that. Yeah, just go a little bit further down. Oh. Holy bit, I'm a pony. Holy yeah. bit. Yeah, right, 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 going yeah, right, at, right after that part. You'll see the line. And then I got thrown out the window. A little bit further down, and you'll see Go See Twilight Sparkle. That's where you start at. Go See Twilight Sparkle. Right. All right, Dad, it's all you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was great introduction sketching. And timer is... Timer is ready All to go when you are. Anticipation. Okay, here we go. At Go See Twilight Sparkle. All right? Yes. yes. Okay. Go See's Twilight Sparkle. Soic sat at Laughter's timeout box to make sure he didn't get loose. That would have been bad at this stage. And gave me the go ahead. With that, I looked around and got a general feel for my surroundings. After feeding all given information into my mental navigational process, I realized that I both knew where I was and where to go. I couldn't help but snicker at the irony of knowing the, geogra uh, the geographical layout of Ponyville. I mean, yeah, I may be a pony, but the idea that I watch a show for little girls never ceases to blow, me, blow my mind. Blow me mind. <laughs> <laughs> I shook off to mirth and began to walk. It was actually quite easy adapting to my new form. I mean, I wasn't struggling or anything. Go figure. I even figured out how to move my tail. Tail! I swished it back and forth as I walked and felt the urge to squee bubbling forth. No, no. Bad laughter. Stay in that box. No freaking out until further notice. The effort to stem that squee flow... What a squee. Oh, my God. 
took a lot longer than those few sentences may have implicated. In fact, in the time it took me to force it down, I already had the Ponyville Library in sight. That started yet another emotional urge that I sad, sadly failed to weather out. As soon as I set my eyes on that very special tree, I broke out into a sprint, or gallop. The grin spreading across my face was inhumanly large, which made perfect sense since I was no longer a human. I was smiling so hard that it bloody hurt. I paused just before the door, though, had to collect myself, had to get a grip, had to... The door opened. I did not. It just opened. Out came the coolest dragon ever. Sure, he may have been a baby. Yeah, his colors of purple and green may have badly clashed. True, he was a mere library assistant, but that didn't matter. It was Spike, and that was all that counted in my book. Cue to mouth dropping moment of awesome. He was carrying a large satchel, entirely birthed of any contest whatsoever. Okay, Twilight, anything else? He called back into the treehouse before turning to see me staring at him like he was made of pure gold. No, that should cover it. A very specific and important voice called back. Spike took it all gracefully, which is a lot more than I could possibly say for myself. My eyes likely did not exude a calm message, but he played it cool, staring right back with an arched eyebrow. Hmm. You, uh, you never seen a dragon, he asked helpfully. Uh, oh, God, that was the longest three minutes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, no problem. Thank hey. you. I got to give it to um, uh, Papa Pony. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull from the random pull again, and I'm back on track here. Okay. Oh, oh. Hmm. Right, so I'm just trying to find that right voice here, but just... Well, because somebody really asked me to, you need to construct additional pylons. 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 There we go. Pylon. Don't get me started on, on that song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pylons. All Back right. to the task at hand. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I shook my head. Got it. I got it. I got it. I shook my head. You're not going to run away screaming, are you? He asked, reaching a claw up to scratch his head. I shook my head again. I forgot to set the damn timer. Setting the timer, <laughs> I go back to the thing. Well, that is good, he replied. I guess I nodded. His confusion worsened as he turned his head a bit to give me a somewhat skeptical once-over. So, uh, I guess I will be going now. Okay, I murmured softly, still praying that it was his in a dream. This couldn't be a dream. Creepy, he whispered as he slowly stepped around to me. I watched him leave, keeping an eye scout stout 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 Creepily <laughs> fixed on him. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I was totally keeping my composure. Totally. I sighed as he turned the street corner, now irritated with my inability to keep it together. With that, I resolved myself to do better with the other purple inhabitants and reached my hook off to knock the door. Yet again, it was open before I could do so, or at least the top half did. However, this time it was within its springing range, and it was rewarded with a smack in the face. Related notes, Twilight Only Doors at astounding velocities. I tumbled over and tumbled into Twilight's lovely flower garden. It had roses for some reason. Oh, Christ the Thorns! Why did it have to be roses? Spike! Wait, Twilight hollered from the door before realizing she had struck some poor bastard with it. Oh, oh dear, I'm so sorry. Just kill me. Stop the pain, I beg you. I whimpered pitifully. Twilight rushed over to help extract me from the evil thorn-filled vile rosebush. Apologize, the fervor rarely seen on earth. It took a lot of whimpering, apologies, and agony, but that was eventually extracted from the sadistic shrubbery. It was not a nice shrubbery. 
Oh my goodness, you are all scraped up. Twilight probably tells the obvious. Come inside of I am being bludgeoned into a rose bush, I grimaced. As I picked up a hoof, I took quick damage report from my entire front leg. If it was the rest of my body, it was as bad off as I was, then I'd probably look like shit with a capital shit. I am so, so very sorry, she repeated, for the umpteenth time. The pain was already fading. In fact, it was almost bearable already. I didn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I'm, holding my ear, my, I'm holding my headphones away from my ears. This hurts. Hey. I can turn down my volume with mine, so I'm lucky. Filthy okay. Casual. The pain was already fading. In fact, the, oh, right. No, nope, not a filthy casual. All right. Yeah, I wasn't dang, in the waiting. What? I think you're going to break the headset screaming like that. But I need to be freaky. I'll just quickly finish the paragraph. I just thrown it headlong into the bush full of murderous roses and emerged without a single drop of blood loss. I guess ponies didn't bleed. I mean, I sure as hell never saw them bleed, and I hoped. To keep it that way! Okay. Jesus Christ, Circuit. I, uh, he has oh nothing Lord, to do with man. this. I didn't touch my volume or remove my headset. I'm a boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you ruin your ears. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm already partially dead. Uh, <laughs> no, tinnitus sucks. Like okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and pull off the random now. Next. Deal! Little, little. Okay, no, I'm not doing Little, 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 you suck as Patrick Kerr. I'm taking my headphones off. I think next time I should probably move the microphone <laughs> away from me a little bit more before going into the Rouge's voice. Oh, damn, I should have actually done that. Well, fuck you. Now, I'm sitting here scratching my head because, okay, first voice, throw one at me. <clears throat> Sweet, I'm doing, uh, ooh, ooh. Here, this should help. Twilight replied as she aimed her horn at me. Hold still. I started to respond. That was cut on. My voice is gonna die. Yay! Well, it's been three there. minutes, this is your life. This glow that sprung forth. Before I could react, it washed over me. And moments later, all the scrapes and pain were gone. It's amazing, my <laughs> 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 I didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, Twilight just white me. Technically, oh she might tend to mage me. If you want... <clears throat> if you wanted to be so literal, but still. How awesome is that? Awesome enough to mark for a premium. Oh, God, there it goes. <laughs> that's how awesome. Wow, that's... That's Now you sound like that thing from Lord. Lord of the Rings. What? <laughs> no, that's a smear. He says do it deeper. I muttered as I gave myself another once over. Wow, Twilight, that's so OP. Like self destruct, but with less child <laughs> How do you know? That. Wait, I hate come you. again, she tilted her head. Both mildly other come with surprise and confusion. OP. What does that mean? <clears throat> I hope you gave yourself and brought yourself some water. The cup is empty and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this type of voice anytime I want and it doesn't hurt my throat at all because I've done this shit my entire life. Well, well don't you feel special. Because I gave you a award and bring back the trophies. Little bit I'm proud of, little bit I'm ashamed of myself. I gave a nervous chuckle as it's Jared it's waved his EP at me about his voicing skills. Oh boy. Oh, it just means you're overpowered. OP. That sense. God. I really need water. Oh, it's this one empty. Fucking suck it up, bitch. <laughs> suck it up. At the very he's going though, he's probably gonna use up his time he's just complaining. Use up his side because we're talking over him and he's being a lighting mess. She opened her mouth to speak, but Paz gave herself a bit of time to mull that over before raising an eyebrow. Um, I suppose. God, this doesn't sound anything like him. Not anymore. Who, who are you trying to be? He's trying Napa. to do Napa. He had it at first, then he lost it. Uh, I need practice. 
Thank you. From, oh, I get, I'll do an extra minute if I have to, if my voice doesn't die. No, 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 you're not. No, no, you're not. Thanks for the confidence boost. <laughs> Don't you. worry, I'm the confidence boost. Hey, everybody! I can see the fucking stupidest grin. God! Of <laughs> I can see the stupidest God damn fucking grin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think I think he killed himself out here. So on to the next one. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Comet. Hey. All right, it's up you, up to you, man. Will we get farther than three sentences? Uh, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right, ready whenever you are. I just I realized I was still smoking. I just slapped in my cup and water went everywhere. <laughs> 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 By the way, comments reading. The only thing that could have been worse was being caught naked, which is already happening. Technically, or something. I immediately spat it into the ground and gave it an angry stop before showing her my nervous smile. And thus began the first very many looks of suspicions of insanity. I mean, what Spike had gave me earlier was close, but Twilight must have been invested some time in honing her skills. Skills or not, I was too numb to feel the full effect of such a thing effort thanks to my nervous system already being flooded with awesome I said, god this person's like sounding like fucking rainbow dash rainbow dash oh no listen to the great I need, powerful I need to dash <laughs> rainbow hey. <laughs> I mean oh, let's not go G1 on this shit oh, <laughs> that was the three bitch yeah I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, it's all bad the way you slice it. Uh. For once in my life, I could say that I was expecting something that matched a textbook definition of the word. Well, if that's all, then she slowly back by moving for the library door. I panicked a bit, but slowly recovered and did the sensible thing, being both honest and earnest. Wait, wait, wait Twilight. It's really, really important that I speak with you. I said urgently, my face reflecting my desperation, please, I, I'm not from around here, and I just, seriously, you have no idea how crazy this is. You know that look when someone you do not want to spend time with, with the, legitimately needs your help, and you don't want to be an ass to reject them? Yeah, that's pretty much Twilight's face. I knew I had <clears throat> had her at that point. It would just take a little more begging and pleading. Sometimes, being a psychology enthusiast, yeah, yeah. yeah. enthusiast, Boom. Boom. <clears throat> really pays off. Don't bother trying to call call me out on it. Every single person on the planet does it. The only difference is I actively rather do rather than subconsciously, kind of like your convincing mother. Look, conniving. Just... <laughs> That's conniving. That's actually... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wait for the middle finger. <laughs> Where's the blacksmith? There, there, there. Okay, okay. There, there you is. go. There you go. There you go. Deal. And and Cody. There you go. You know what, Jay? That's all fine. But you know what? Where's the blacksmith? <laughs> Damn it, Cody. <laughs> He'll You're can't do it like I did. Oh, where's the black smell? Look, just give me a bit of your time. At least the very... At the very least, this is probably give you something to talk about later, even if you don't believe me. I offered half... I offered half sincerely. I'm not kidding. I don't know who else to turn to. Twilight set me with a helpless stare before letting a reason... A reasoned sigh and turning back toward the door. I... I suppose the least I can do, seeing how I hit you with the door and everything, I resisted the urge to jump in the air, screaming with delight. Instead, 
I still have given her a graceful smile and nod with but a single word. Thanks. All right. Okay, I th- we're nearing the end of this. Let's see here. And by the end of this, I mean oh, the end of this. <laughs> now! Okay, Vegeta! let's see. Vegeta! Come on, how can you not do that forever? Go in. All right, because I was more or less yelling at the start. It just killed it. Hey, right, in, you ready? Not well. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, <clears throat> fire away. She invited me in and offered to get some tea. She gave me a strange look when I told her I took my gold as ice with a ridiculous amount of sugar. Apparently, gold tea was abnormal or something. Bunny stereotypes, they don't know anything. Just wait until I get me some hipster glasses. I was going to introduce them to so many strange and awesome things, like shooting. I hopped, I hopped up onto a bench, sitting on it exactly as a human, which is exactly as a pony wouldn't, whilst looking about the living room to the library. It looked almost identical to the show, save for a section in the back that apparently hailed the kitchen, bathroom, and the staircase leading down into the basement. Or maybe I had just never seen it from this angle. Whatever the case, I was mesmerized. It was freaking amazing. It was a lot bigger than the show made it out to be, and smelled of musty old books and pine salt Great. dust, just, which sort of didn't great. make any sense, because that was most definitely most definitely not a pine tree. However, it smelled awesome, and I was awestruck nonetheless. I don't think it she returned with two cups of hot tea. Her soft smile was both welcoming and happy. After setting mine beside me, she took a moment to cast the spell that chilled both the glass and the fluid inside. Magic! I ain't gotta explain shit. Oh, but it it was awesome. But it is is awesome. I smiled eagerly and she took a bench of her own nearby. I tried to pick it up with my moves, but that... Well, it was damned hard, <laughs> it is what it was. I must have fumbled with the stupid thing for a whole minute before Twilight finally came out with the question that I was already anticipating. What What are you doing? She asked, tilting her head slightly. I bit my lip and tried one last time, putting extra effort into it, only to end up spilling my cup on the floor. I could feel the blush on my face, blush burn on my face off as I grabbed and, um, as I gasped and grabbed my tail to begin mopping up the mess as quickly as I could. Sorry, I cried out, my anxiety just two steps from causing me to have a nervous breakdown. D- don't use your tail, we have nothing, you idiot! She called out, magicking some in from the kitchen. Sorry, I cried out yet again for grabbing the clo- closest one and slap- slapping it against the offending bottle of foot tea. Because of my glazed anxiety, all I succeeded in doing was splash some onto my face and generally get everywhere except the napkin. Alright. That was racist. <clears throat> It, uh, it, actually, all, th- all I was thinking was the party was smaller because Wolfman was dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I was thinking. I don't know if he was trying to her fucking transformation. It was good either way. It's kind of like Indian at first and went to Russian. <laughs> 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 I, I try. I okay, try. okay. He okay. did well. Yeah, he did better. Hey, 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 Gord, hey, Gord. Yeah. Hey, at least you held the voice. I'm like, deal over here. Yeah. Uh, you can't hold an apple. Shut up, vaguely. Okay, so I believe that because just about everybody except Suki. So Suki, you get the last little bits here. Well, I didn't read again. That's that voice. Mm. So, whenever you're ready. Okay. Wow, I I was just looking at it. What the hell? Uh, wait, everyone's up back. Uh, some other, wait. Damn it! I totally lost my place. What the hell? They're generally getting. I think yeah. Last line was generally get it everywhere except the napkin, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I glared into the offending napkin slash puddle and pursed my lips in, a, in irritation. Really, life? You do this to me now? 
<laughs> right when I'm sitting in front of one of the coolest chicks to have ever influenced my existence? <laughs> this couldn't have happened some other time. <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> without, just without, what he's doing. Just <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's doing. No, no, I, I figured it out. It's just I was waiting for a moment to say it. Yeah, it was. God dang it! You got sorry. You guys are making me laugh and make it break it. Oh my god! Yay! You got him. Oh. Uh, Without looking at Twilight, I snatched the other napkins out of the air, <laughs> gently placed them over the remainder of the mess before looking up at Twilight with quite possibly the salest expression ever. Ever. Well, now that I'm properly mortified and humiliated, I'm going to step outside and calm down before I die of embarrassment. I said with a flat sigh before turning for the door. As I approached it, though, I felt a cold chill go throughout my body. Oh, it had a, it had a doorknob. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> <laughs> Rather than do something stupid like try to open it with my teeth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so I just looked at the freaking screen. Damn it! What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, mm, oh crap! Where was I? Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh. I expected yet another strange expression, but she looked more worried for my sake than anything. <laughs> could you, could you please get the door? I, uh, I don't know how to open it. I explained in a tired voice, without saying a word. She magicked it open and let me out. Magicked. Well, that's what it says. I exited, my face still burning hot from the shame. I tried out a bit of the, to the soft grass to her front yard and fucked down onto it. Maybe I'll just uh, lay here and uh, will myself out of existence or something. Okay, maybe after a cigarette. Without thinking about where it was coming from, I pulled out my pack of cigarettes as easily as I would produce them from a pocket. I blinked before looking at where I pulled them from, just to make sure there wasn't a hole in my body. Okay. No, no, we're good. Still, that was somewhat perplexing. I gave a sigh before glancing back at the pack filled with silver and teal. I kid you not. It said, Marlboro Smooth 100. On the front. Okay. Uh, finish the Fuck, paragraph. I finish. Yep. finish the paragraph, then we can end this travesty. <laughs> that, that had me, that had me brain locked for a few, quite a few seconds. Finally, I opened the pack only to realize it was still full. This might be having already snagged a cigarette from it earlier. Wow! That part I could totally get used to. I retrieved the smoke and closed it before putting it away. Then I realized it just disappeared and I jumped up before looking around frantically. And I have to give it to it. I kind of really want to keep reading for some odd reason. Yeah, I know. I, I like do this too. right style. I, that, that's a sign of a good read right there. I kind of do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everyone take your five seconds for your Mickey crap so we can get it out of our system. I know you hard time. voices. And that was really hard. Time's up. Fuck you. Well, I got to go. I got to make it, so I'll just do a goofy. Whatever. Nobody likes you. Oh, sorry, I commanded something. Unfortunately, we cannot keep. We cannot keep reading. However, I do feel a little bit better seeing that the chat room was starting to enjoy it right there. <laughs> Except for the Mickey Mouse cores. <laughs> well, actually, some people love the Mickey Mouse cores. I don't know. I can keep a voice. Okay. All right. Let's let's go ahead and uh, get moving on here. is a piece of shit and can't keep a voice. Wow, it's it's actually amazing. It it was harder for me to keep that voice than for me to do something like, oh my god, like something like this. I can't. I can keep okay, this voice Stitch, going forever. Why are you coming here, Stitch? You shouldn't be here, Stitch. This is not part of the thing. Fuck you! I can do whatever the fuck I want. Get off the show. That, that that's re understandable. Get on with it. Yes, get, get on with it. Get on with it. I'm. 
Oh, I'm working on it here. I'm working on it. We have a night to say ni orang channel sorry. Eh, I'm working on it here. What are you schmucks doing here? This is prime time. <laughs>